Psalms 115 verse 14 to 15 says, The Lord will give us increase more and more. Not just us, but also our children. Verse 15 says, We will be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and the earth. This is telling us that when the Lord is blessing us, when the Lord is showing us mercy, when the Lord is increasing us, the blessing automatically extends to our children. Just like the blessing of Abraham. Abraham was blessed and God told him, I will also bless your children. So today we are declaring the mercy of the Lord for our children. And I believe the Lord will hear us and answer us by his mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the part of the world where you are today. I trust you are doing good and your family. Welcome to the day four of our prayer of mercy. We are seeking the face of the Lord to have mercy upon us, to have mercy upon our family. And I trust that he has answered every prayer, every utterances that we have made before. It is from our lips to his ears and our answers are coming speedily in Jesus' name. Amen. Hebrews 4, 16 says, Let us come boldly unto the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And that is what we are doing today. We are approaching the throne of mercy with boldness, with no iota of fear, with no iota of doubt in our heart, because we know the Lord is going to answer us. Let's thank the Lord for the grace to approach him today. Let's thank the Lord for the strength he has given us. The fact that we went out each day and we come back safely is by the mercy of the Lord. The fact that our children go to school and they come back despite mingling with other children, despite interacting with other children. Some of them even walk home by themselves. Some of them take public transport and the Lord has been keeping them. Some of our children in higher institutions are living far away from home on their own and the Lord has been keeping them. We are not there to watch over them. We are not there to take care of them like we used to do. But the Lord has been with them. Some of our children are already adults. They may even have a family of their own. But the Lord has been keeping them. So let's thank the Lord and say, Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you the glory. You are faithful. You are worthy. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy upon our children. Thank you, Lord, for the prayers you have answered concerning these children in time past. You are a faithful God. You are a kind God. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Be thou lifted, I, our Father and our King. Thank you, Lord, for your hand upon our children. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of these children. The Bible says children are the heritage of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for finding us worthy ah, to take care of this, your heritage. We give you the glory. We bless your name. We say you are worthy. There is none like you. Ah, Thank you, Jesus. All glory, all honor, all adoration be unto you. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Thank you, Father. Imela. Imela. O kaka o ye keruwa imela imela ezemo you are the mighty god the great i am Alleluia, Alleluia, you are the mighty God, the great I am, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. For 
Father, we thank you for the life of our children. Thank you for protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for your life upon their life. Thank you, Lord, for guidance. Thank you, Lord, because of the way you have been giving them timely help, even when we could not help them. Be thou glorified, Father. We give you the glory, the honor, the adoration. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let us ask for forgiveness of sins on behalf of our children. Many children are living a different lifestyle when they go out. And when they come in, they pretend like they are living godly. Many children are putting their hands into ungodly things. Many of them are into immorality. But when they come home, they pretend to still be the kind of gentle, godly children that we know them to be. I want us to pray, Father, please, in any way our children has gone astray, in any way they have sinned, that has given the enemy legal ground upon their life, we ask for mercy, O oh Lord. Father, forgive all their sins in the name of Jesus. Father, forgive every sin in the name of Jesus, every sin of disobedience to your word, disobedience to their parents, every sin. Lord, of going outside your purpose and your will. Father, we ask for mercy today. Show our children mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, show our children mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, show them mercy in the name of Jesus. In any way our children has gone outside your covering. In any way our children has put aside your ways. Ah, Father, please show them mercy. Show them mercy like the prodigal son. Some of them have left home despite godly advice, despite the prayer despite being taught the word of the Lord. Ah, they have thrown those things out. They believe it's old school and they want to forge their own path in the world without God. Ah, Father, show them mercy. Father, show them mercy in the name of Jesus. All we ask for tonight for our children is your mercy, Lord. Please show our children mercy. Father, show them mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, show them mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, show them mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, show them mercy. Oh, Father, your, oh, your mercy, your mercy, oh Lord, your mercy. Father, show our children your mercy. Show them your mercy. Arise, oh Lord, and show our children your mercy. Father, show them your mercy in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray, Father, in your mercy. Deliver all our children that have been given to reprobate mind, that are doing the things that, that are not even convenient for them. The enemy has deceived them. Ah, they have been tempted. They have been seduced. They are falling into temptation. They are living contrary to the standard of the Lord. Father, please show mercy. Show mercy to our children, Father. Show mercy to our children, every of our children that has gone astray, every of our children that has gone into reprobacy, every of our children that has backslidden, that has gone away like the prodigal son. Father, we ask for your mercy. Show mercy to our children. Show mercy to our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, show mercy to them. In the name of Jesus, Father, show mercy to our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, everlasting Father, Lord, show mercy to our children. Show mercy to our children. Ah, the young, the old, even the adult children, Father, show them mercy. Show them mercy in any way. They have won that they way from your way in any way they have pushed aside your godly instructions in any way they are living in sin ah father show them mercy father show them mercy restore them back to yourself oh lord father show them mercy and restore them back to yourself oh lord father show them mercy and restore them back to yourself every of our children that has gone astray father we have done our best we have prayed we have shouted we have threatened we have done all we can do we have even communicated with them, but nothing is working, Lord. All we ask for is for your mercy. It's for your mercy. It's for your mercy. Father, please show our children your mercy. Show them your mercy, oh Lord. Show them your mercy, oh Lord. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Just like the parent of Samson, they taught him everything God told them. They, he was informed that he was a Nazarene, but still he went astray. Sleeping on the laps of Delilah, sleeping in the arms of Alot, touching dead animals, going to marry from a foreign land when he knew the kind of anointing, the kind of ministry God has given him. 
How many of our children are in those shoes now? How many of our children has put aside divine instructions for their life? How many of them have forgotten the encounters they had with God? We're just going to ask for mercy. Father, please show our children mercy in the name of Jesus. Has many of our children that has gone astray? Has many of our children that has laid aside divine instruction, that has neglected divine instruction? Has many of our children that are living in rebellion and disobedience. Father, show them mercy. Ah, Father, show them mercy. Show them mercy. In the name of Jesus, Father, show them mercy. In the name of Jesus, has many of our children that has broken the edge and the serpent is biting. Father, show them your mercy, Lord. Ah, show them mercy. Oh, Lord, show them mercy. All we ask for is your mercy. All we ask for is your mercy, Father. Father, show them mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, show them mercy. In the name of Jesus, we have no justifications. Father, we have nothing to say to justify their actions, but we ask for mercy. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask for mercy, Father. Show them mercy. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. We are also going to ask for mercy. Some of us parents have contributed to these children going astray. We have not stand up in the gap. We did not teach them the ways of the Lord. So many of us believe, mm, I don't want to be a fanatic. I don't want my children to be a fanatic. We push them to achieve the best academically. We push them to achieve the best in the sport, in music, in every other extracurricular activities, except to know God. Many of us were brought up in the ways of the Lord, but we didn't bring these children up in the ways of the Lord. And through our lifestyle, we allow the children to have a wrong mentality to God. They believe, oh, God is not so important. If you have time, you pursue. If you don't have time, it is not necessary. We made them believe that our career is more important than God. We made them believe that even ministry is more important than God. They see the way we live our life. We live a life of hypocrisy. We are someone else outside. We are someone else inside. They see the way we come together to gossip about others. They see the way we are tearing our leaders apart when we sit down. How do you expect those children to go to God? How do you expect those children to trust the leaders or whatever it is they are saying? They see us make jest of spiritual realities. They see us make jest of biblical doctrines. They see us trivialize miraculous. Hmm. They see us trivialize the miraculous. They see us trivialize divine instructions. Why will they come to God? Why will they stay in the path of God? Yes, we give them Bible passages to memorize, but our life was not mirroring what we are teaching them. So they throw whatever it is we've taught them, they threw it to a side. And they followed exactly what we are living. They are following us, hook, line, and sinker, even though they know what we are doing is wrong. We're going to pray, Father, in any way we have led our children astray, in any way we have contributed to them living in error, Father, show us mercy, Lord, show us mercy. Ah, Father, let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak. Let your mercy speak in the name of Jesus, Father. Let your mercy speak, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, we ask for your mercy. Show us mercy, Lord, as parents, as guardians, Lord. Ah, Father, as mentors, in any way we have led our children astray, in any way we have led them astray, we have sown the seed of immorality in them. We have sown the seed of lukewarmness in them. Ah, Father, show us mercy. Show us mercy in the name of Jesus, Father. Please show us mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, show us mercy in the name of Jesus. Show us mercy, O oh Lord, for in Jesus' name we've prayed. Some of us, the Holy Spirit has been speaking to us. We are living a kind of life that is going to have a negative impact upon our children. And the Holy Spirit is saying, stop this. Or the Holy Spirit is saying, start this. But we have refused to listen. I want to plead with us. Today, I was just discussing with my husband a few hours ago. I saw one of my notes and 
the Holy Spirit gave me a topic that we should discuss, but I totally forgot. But while going through my notes, I saw it. And the summary of the message is that parental obedience can determine the destiny of a child. Parental obedience or disobedience, whichever it may be, has a great impact on the destiny of a child. Many of us that our children have gone astray. Have we done the best the Lord has asked us to do? Are we doing the best the Lord has asked us to do? Some seeds that we are seeing the reward, that we are seeing the harvest in the life of our children were sown in secret. Were sown years back. And we refused to acknowledge our sin. We refused to make a U-turn. And now the reward the harvest is manifesting in the life of our children. We're going to pray. Father, show me mercy. In any way, Lord, I'm failing you concerning my children. Father, show me mercy. Father, show me mercy. Show my family mercy. Show my children mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, show me mercy. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me, Lord, to arise. To the ministry of godly parenting, Father. Help me to arise to the ministry of godly parenting. In the name of Jesus, Father, I am tired, Lord, of letting you down. I am tired, Lord, of disappointing you. Father, help me, Lord, to be the parent you have called me to be. Help me, Lord, to be able to model Christ to these children. Help me, Lord, to be a living example of how Christ has called us to be. Ah, to these children, in the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we've prayed. The Bible says in the book of Ezekiel that no longer will a child suffer for the sins of the father. And the father will not suffer for the sins of the child. We're going to pray. Father, show our children mercy. In any way they are suffering for the sins of their parents. Father, Lord, show them mercy. Exempt them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we plead for mercy. Ah, Father, exempt our children from every ancestral causes. Exempt our children from every ancestral causes, Lord. Ah, Father, exempt them by your mercy. Exempt them by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, from the consequences of the sins of their parents. Father, Lord, have mercy and exempt our children from the consequences of the sins of their parents. Father, Lord, exempt them by your mercy. 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 For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 18 from verse 2, it says, What do you mean when you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel saying, the fathers have eaten salt grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, says the Lord God, you shall no longer use this proverb in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the father as well as the soul of the son is mine. The soul who sins shall die. The word of the Lord has come to us to tell us that it is not automatic. A child is not supposed to suffer for the sins of the father. We're going to pray, Father, we stand on the authority of your word and we exempt our children by mercy from the consequences of the sins of their parents in the name of Jesus, Father. We stand on the authority of your word. You have said the father cannot eat so grapes and the children still be set on edge. You have said it will no longer pertain to us. So we stand on the authority of this word today and we declare, Father, we exempt our children from every consequences of their father's sins in the name of Jesus, from every consequences of their mother's sins in the name of Jesus, from every consequences of ancestral sin. Oh, Father, we exempt our children by your mercy. We exempt our children by your mercy. We exempt our children by your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we exempt our children by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, my children shall not suffer for their father's sins. They shall not suffer for their mother's sins. In the name of Jesus, my my children shall not suffer for ancestral causes. They will not suffer from ancestral causes. They will not suffer from negative bloodline pattern. Oh, Father, deliver our children by your mercy. Deliver our children by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray, Father, for every child that is already suffering 
from the consequences of their father's sins. Father, by your mercy, ah, let them be delivered. By your mercy, deliver them right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, by your mercy, deliver them right now. Every child that is already suffering from the consequence of their father's sins, Father, deliver them right now. In the name of Jesus, let today be the end of such suffering. Let today be the end of such suffering. In the name of Jesus, every child, old and young, born and girl that is suffering from the consequences of their father's sins, of their mother's sins, of ancestral sin. Father Lord, we pray today. Today is the end. We bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. We break such yoke upon their life. We break such bondage upon their life in the name of Jesus. Our Father, have mercy upon us, Lord, to our fourth generation. According to your word, because we love you, Father, have mercy upon us. Show us mercy. Show me mercy. Show Show my husband mercy. Show my children mercy. Show my children's children mercy. Show my children's children children mercy. In the name of Jesus, to my fourth generation, Father, show us mercy. All we ask for is your mercy. We ask for your mercy, O oh Lord, upon our children, Father. Show us mercy, Jesus. Show us mercy, Father. Show us mercy, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Many children have gone astray because of wrong association. Because of wrong friendship, we're going to pray, Father, by your mercy, separate our children from every wrong association. By your mercy, Father, separate our children from every wrong association in the name of Jesus. Association that will lead them to destruction. Association that will lead them to untimely death. Association that will lead them to immorality. Father, Lord, separate our children by your mercy. By your mercy, Father, separate my children from every wrong friends. Ah, Father, separate my children from every destructive friends. Father, separate our children, Lord, from friends ah, that are really their enemies. Father, separate them in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of their destiny. Father, separate my children by your mercy. Separate our children by your mercy from every enemy of their destiny. My children shall not be friends with their enemies. My children shall not be friends with their enemies. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Samson became friends with Delilah that was positioned to destroy him. That was positioned to get his secret. That was positioned to bring a mighty man to a slave. Ah. Father, separate my children from every Delilah. Father, separate my children from every Delilah. Separate them, Lord, from every wrong friends, Lord. Every friends, the enemy has positioned to destroy them, to derail them. Father, Lord, separate them in the name of Jesus. Every friends, the enemy has positioned to derail them, to distract them, to destroy them. Father, separate my children. Separate my children in the name of Jesus. They shall not be friends with their enemies. Ah, by your your mercy, Father. My children shall not be friends with their enemies. My children shall not be friends with their enemies. My children shall not be friends with their enemies. In the name of Jesus, Father. My children, they shall not be friends with their enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, my children shall not be friends with their enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we've prayed. The Bible says, our children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace. Father, teach my children by your mercy. Father, Lord, teach our children your ways. Ah, Father, teach our children your ways in the name of Jesus. In their sleep, Father, teach them your ways in the name of Jesus. Let them have a personal encounter with you. Let them have a personal revelation of who you are. Father, teach our children your ways in the name of Jesus. Father, teach them your ways in the name of Jesus. Father, teach our children your ways. Let them walk in your ways. Let them live in your ways all the days of our lives. Father, Lord, let them walk in your ways. Let them live Live in your ways all the days of their lives in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. I want us to pray this prayer again. Father Lord, my children shall not be distracted. Show mercy, show mercy to my children in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Show mercy to our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Show mercy to our children in the name of Jesus. Father, show mercy to our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Father, help us in the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, show mercy to our children. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're still going to pray, Father. My children shall not be friends with their enemies. My children shall not be friends with their enemies and those who will lead them to destruction. Pray. Father, my children shall not be friends with their enemies. Those that will introduce them to all the bad habits. My children shall not be friends with them. Those that will introduce them to wrong association. My children shall not be friends with them. Those that will introduce them to a bad business. My children shall not be friends with them. In the name of Jesus. Those that will take my children to initiate them to occultic world. My children shall not be friends with them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, by your mercy shield my children. By your mercy shield my children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, by your mercy shield my children from every evil. By your mercy shield my children from every evil. From every destruction. From every plan of the enemy to distract them. To derail them. To destroy them. Father, Lord, ah, shield my children. In the name of Jesus. Father, shield my children. In in the name of Jesus. Father, shield my children. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray. Father, in your mercy. The enemy will not succeed concerning my children. Ah, Father, in your mercy, the devil will not succeed concerning my children. Enemy shall not succeed concerning my children. Father, frustrate every plan of the enemy to derail, to distract, and to destroy my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, frustrate, Lord, every plan of the enemy to derail, to distract, and destroy my children. In the name of Jesus, ah, Father, I pray the enemy shall not succeed concerning the life of my children. The enemy shall not succeed in the name of Jesus. Ah, when the enemy come against my children as a flood, ah, Father, you will raise your standard against them. You will raise your standard against them. You will raise your standard against them in the name of Jesus, Father. You will raise your standard against them for in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. We're going to pray according to Isaiah 44, 25. The Bible says, the Lord frustrates the tokens of liars. Another version says, he exposes the false prophet as liars and make fools of fortune tellers. I cause the wise to give bad advice, thus proving them to be fools. We're going to pray. Father, Lord, frustrate the tokens of liars concerning our children. In your mercy, O oh Lord, frustrate every tokens of liars, every false prophet. Ah, Father, frustrate them. Frustrate their effort concerning my children. In the name of Jesus, every false prophet that wants to derail my children, that wants to destroy them. Father, frustrate them. Frustrate their power. Frustrate their antics. Frustrate them in the name of Jesus. Father, frustrate the tokens of liars concerning my children. In the name of Jesus, Father, drive diviners mad concerning my children. In your mercy, ah, Father, everyone that is trying all their possible best to destroy the life of my children spiritually, physically, Father, drive them mad. Drive them mad, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father. Drive diviners mad by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, Father, turn wise men backward and make their knowledge foolishness. Hey, Father, turn wise men backwards concerning our children and make their knowledge foolishness. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, in your mercy, frustrate the signs of babblers. In the name of Jesus, frustrate the tokens of liars. In the name of Jesus, concerning my children, in your mercy, Father, frustrate the tokens of liars. In the name of Jesus, Father, drive diviners mad concerning the life of our children as they are trying to check what their future is, as they are trying how to attack them. Father, drive them mad. Frustrate their actions in the name of Jesus. Drive them mad, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father. Turn wise men backward concerning my children. Turn wise men backward in the name of Jesus. Let their wisdom become foolishness. Let their wisdom become foolishness. Everyone that wants to use their wisdom negatively for my children. Everyone that wants to use their wisdom to frustrate the life of my children. Everyone that wants to use their wisdom ah, to scatter the journey of my children. Father, Lord, oh, make them foolish. Make them foolish in the name of Jesus. Father, turn their wisdom to foolishness. Turn their wisdom to foolishness. In Jesus' name we've prayed. We've seen some men and women. They see that this child is godly. This sister is godly. This brother is godly. Now, they go to pretend. They become an hypocrite because they want to get married or they want to be connected to such a person. 
not to help them, but to pull them down. Ah, we're going to pray, Father. Every man and woman that has been sent as agent of darkness to derail my children, to pull them down maritally, ah, to make them not fulfill their marital destiny. Father, in your mercy, frustrate their efforts. Frustrate their efforts in the name of Jesus. That man or woman that is sent for the altar with the wrong man, with the wrong spouse, ah, with that hypocritical spouse. Father, reveal, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, reveal in your mercy, in the name of Jesus, every plan of the enemy to derail our children, to fail maritally. Father, reveal every of their plans in the name of Jesus. They shall not succeed. They shall not succeed. Every man and woman said to derail the life of our children maritally, said to derail the life of our children in their ministry, said to derail the life of our children in their career. They will not succeed. They will not succeed. Your mercy, oh Lord. Your mercy, oh Lord. Your mercy, oh Lord. Your mercy, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father. Ah, if it is just a step for our children to enter into destruction. Father, if it's just a step for our children to enter into error, let your mercy speak, Jesus. Let your mercy speak, Jesus. Let your mercy speak, Jesus. Ah, presently and even in the future your Baba. Let your mercy speak, Lord. All we ask for is your mercy. Even when it's just a moment, a second for our children to enter into destruction. Father, let your mercy deliver them. Deliver them in your mercy. Let your mercy speak in the name of Jesus. The death that are killing others will not kill our children in the name of Jesus. Ah, let your mercy speak, Father. Let your mercy speak, Father. Let your mercy speak, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, where others are failing. Our children will not fail, Lord. Our children will not fail, Lord. Let your mercy speak in the name of Jesus, Father. When it is just a step for our children to meet with the destroyer of their destiny, our Father, let your mercy separate them. Let your mercy orchestrate their path not to meet. Let your mercy orchestrate their path not to meet. In the name of Jesus, my children shall not meet those that will frustrate their life, that will frustrate their effort. In the name of Jesus, my children Children shall not meet anyone that will pull them down in the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, my children shall not meet those that has been sent to destroy them, to derail them, to distract them in the name of Jesus. Ah, show us mercy, Lord. Show us mercy, Jesus. Show my family mercy. Show my children mercy, Father. Show my children mercy, Father. All I ask is your mercy. All I ask is your mercy. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray, Father. Your mercy exempts my children from every negativity that is going on in this world. From every negativity that is going on in their school, they can be bullying. So many of them have started using drugs, even from high school, primary school. We're going to pray, Father, your mercy shall preserve my children. Your mercy shall protect my children. Your mercy shall exempt my children from every negativity in and around them. Ah, sexual immorality is rampant. Use of art drug is there. Father, Lord, separate my children, Lord. Ha, ah, exempt them by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your mark of exemption be upon them, Lord. Let your mark of exemption be upon my children. Let your mark of exemption be upon my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, exempt my children by your mercy from every negativity that is going on in their school, that is going on around them. Father, exempt them in the name of Jesus from every bullying. My children shall not be bullied. My children shall not be bullied in the name of Jesus. My children shall not be taken advantage of. In the name of Jesus, I exempt my children from sexual abuse. I exempt my children from physical abuse. I exempt my children from emotional and psychological abuse. In the name of Jesus, my children are shielded from such in the name of Jesus. Even from cyber bullying, I exempt my children. In the name of Jesus, in any form of bullying, my children shall not be found there. In the name of Jesus, all oh, the presence of the Lord is upon my children. Ah, Father, my children carry your presence. My children carry your presence in the name of Jesus. So the presence of darkness cannot come close to them. Ah, darkness shall not be able to have expression in the life of my children. I declare, darkness, you have no right upon my children. You have no expression upon my children. Ah, my children are kingdom.
kingdom investment. My children are kingdom investment. The devil has no right upon them. The devil has no right upon you. I declare upon you, my children, you are kingdom investment and the devil has no right upon you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we pray your mercy for our children. Ah, your mercy for our children. Let your mercy speak, Daddy. Let your mercy speak, Daddy. Let your mercy speak, Daddy. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy speak for our children. Let your mercy speak for our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Father, there is no argument. There is no justification. Ah, Father, we just plead your mercy upon the life of our children, Father. We plead your mercy upon the life of our children. We plead your mercy upon the life of our children. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray, Father, for every child that seems to be stranded now. Maybe they are stranded financially or they are stranded in any way. We are going to pray, Father. We plead your mercy, Lord. Let doors be opened by your mercy. Let doors be opened by your mercy for that parent that is looking for a school and it seems all doors are closed and there is no financial help from anywhere. Father, you own these children, Father. Ah, raise up help, Lord. Let mercy open doors that has been shut. Let mercy open doors that has been shut. Let mercy open doors that has been shut. In the name of Jesus, Father, we plead your mercy mercy upon our children in the name of Jesus. Our children shall not fail. They shall not be stagnant. They shall not be stranded in the name of Jesus. Your mercy is speaking. Your mercy is speaking in the name of Jesus for that child that they have a meeting concerning you. I declare mercy is speaking in the name of Jesus concerning that bursary. Mercy is speaking in the name of Jesus. Mercy is speaking upon your life in the name of Jesus. Mercy is speaking. I what you have not been qualified for. Mercy qualifies you. Mercy qualifies you. In the name of Jesus, by the mercy of the Lord, you receive favor. You receive favor concerning your studies. By the mercy of the Lord, ah, that award that belongs to you, that people are trying to steal from you, by the mercy of the Lord, it is released to you. It is released to you. It is released to you. You receive that award. You receive that bursary. You receive that sponsorship in the name of Jesus. Hey, Father, we receive that sponsorship for our children on this altar of mercy. On this altar of mercy, Father, we receive it for our children by your mercy. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. In Proverbs 11, 21, the Bible says, The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Our seed shall be mighty upon the land. That is the word of the Lord. Mighty means mighty. Mighty means you have influence. Mighty means that you dominate. Mighty means that you cannot be intimidated. So when the word of the Lord says, Our seed shall be mighty. Our seed shall be great. Ha. We're going to declare that by the mercy of the Lord. And say, Father, by your mercy, our seed are delivered. Our seed are mighty. I declare, Father, by your mercy, my seed are delivered. My children are delivered. My children are great. They shall not be small. According to your word, my children are great. They are not small. In the name of Jesus, Father, I declare, my children are great. They are not small. In the name of Jesus, Father, ha, upon the land, our children shall not be intimidated. Our children shall not be bullied. Our children shall not be small. Our children shall not be failures. In the name of Jesus, we declare upon our land, upon our children, ah, you are great. You are great. You are great. You excel. You are the end and not the tail. By the mercy of the Lord, we declare our children, they are excellent in all they do. They are ten times better than their peers. By the mercy of the Lord. You are ten times better than your peers. In the name of Jesus, I declare the mercy of the Lord guide you till you get to your place of fulfillment. The mercy of the Lord guide you till you fulfill your destiny. The mercy of the Lord guide you concerning the course you will do. The mercy of the Lord guide you concerning the school you will attend. The mercy of the Lord guide you in choosing your friends. The mercy of the Lord guide 
guide you in places you will go. The mercy of the Lord guides you in the name of Jesus, in choosing your husband, in choosing your wife. The mercy of the Lord guides you in the name of Jesus. You shall not be confused. You shall not be confounded. You shall not be confused. You shall not be confounded in the name of Jesus. You are delivered by the mercy of the Lord. Ah, that child that is on the sickbed, we declare deliverance. We declare healing upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch forth my hand and I declare every child that is sick, ah, mentally sick, physically sick, I declare be healed. In the name of Jesus, even spiritual sickness, I say be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, the healing virtue is flowing to you from your head to your toe, from your head to your toe, from your head to your toe, wherever the sickness is, receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Sickness has no place in your body. Sickness has no place in your body. You are the seed of the righteous. You are created to be mighty in the land. Sickness has no place in your body. So I come against every sickness and I say out of that body right now, in the name of Jesus, that house is not your abode. That house belongs to God. That house is a temple of the Lord. I say, get out of that body. Thank you, Jesus, for you've done it. Thank you, Jesus, for you've done it. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, we're going to pray. Father, by your mercy. Let your word not depart from the mouth of our children. Ah, Father, let your word be in the mouth and the heart of our children forever. Father, let your word not depart, Lord, from the heart of our children. Father, let your word not depart from the mouth of our children. Father, help our children to continue to live in your will, in your ways, in the name of Jesus. Help them to continue to live in your will and your ways, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Help our children. Let their feet be established upon your land in the name of Jesus. Let their feet be established upon your ways in the name of Jesus. We declare by the mercy of the Lord, you will stand. You will stand for righteousness. You will stand for holiness. Our children will stand for righteousness. They will stand for holiness. Our children shall know God. They shall serve him. They shall live for him. In the name of Jesus, I declare my children, you shall serve God. You shall know God. You shall live for him. In the the name of Jesus. I forbid you, my children, from going astray from the will of the Lord. I forbid you, my children, by the mercy of the Lord, from going astray from the will of the Lord. Ah, we have dedicated you to the Lord. You belong to the Lord, body, soul, and spirit. You shall not wander away. The mercy of the Lord will keep you in his will in the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for our children. Thank you for your mercy upon their life. Thank you for your mercy upon their life. Thank you you father for in jesus name we've prayed amen we're going to declare according to the book of isaiah 49 verse 25 it says but thus says the lord even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible be delivered for i will contend with him who contends with you and i will save your children by the mercy of the Lord, we declare the captives of the mighty are taken away in the name of Jesus. Every of our children that are captives of the mighty, either legally or illegally, we declare the mercy of the Lord release them from every captivity in the name of Jesus. Ah, the mercy of the Lord delivers our children who are prey of the terrible in the name of Jesus. The mercy of the Lord deliver you. The mercy of the Lord deliver you. The Lord will contend with everyone that is contending with us. The Lord will contend with everyone that is contending with our children. He will save us and our children. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Father, we thank you for the grace to seek your face again. We believe that you have answered us. We believe that you have shown mercy to our children. We believe that your face is upon our children. And you have rescued as many that have gone astray. You have rescued as many that are captives of the mighty. You have set them free. You have delivered them from the captivity of sin. You have delivered them from the bondage of darkness. Thank you, Jesus, because you have rescued our children 
who are into fraud and scam, you have delivered them. Thank you because you have delivered our children that are into sexual immorality. You have opened their eyes, Lord. Father, you have killed every lust that is ruling in their life. Thank you, Jesus, for the great and the mighty things you are going to do. Thank you, Lord, because we will come back with testimonies of your great wonders upon our upon the life of our children in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, brethren, for joining me to pray. Please don't forget to like, to share, to comment, and to subscribe to this channel. You are helping others by sharing if this has truly blessed you. Do have a blessed day ahead and shalom.